Hi. Oh. How are you doing? Oh, bearing up just about. Sorry, I beg you off to work. Oh. Morning. Morning. How is he? Oh, not so bad. What am I talking about? He's all over the place. I don't know what to do with him. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, thanks, Frank. I don't mean to be funny, no, but... but I'll probably make things worse, eh? I'm just praying you'll get through the funeral tomorrow. What the hell do you think you're playing at? Hey, 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 don't try to get up. Don't worry, I'm all right. Sure. Yeah, you stupid idiot. You could have run me over. Oh, come on, it wasn't my fault. She walked straight out in front of me. You were driving like a maniac. You what? I wasn't even breaking a speed limit. Well, maybe you should get your eyes yeah, tested yeah, yeah, then. Yeah, come along, come along. Let's calm down. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. No thanks to him. Well, let's be grateful for that, aren't we? I don't believe it. I could have sworn we paid this. You got any fags? Oh, They're going to cut off our electricity. Oh, this is your last one. Oh, that's OK. What do you think? That what? The electric! Do you remember the miners' strike? What? Our electric was out for weeks. Louise was pregnant. She had to stay in bed all day just to keep warm. And you know what I used to do? Go down the pub. We all make mistakes with our families. I didn't just make mistakes. I got everything wrong. I'm paying for it now. Egg and bacon, two ounces of toast and a cup of tea, yeah? Right, I'll take a seat, I'll bring it over. What are you doing here? Pat and Hugh have got flu. Oh, sorry to hear it. Yeah, not sorry as I am. You can have a cup of tea to take out. You're going to have to wait a minute. Oh, that's all right, I'm not in a rush. Morning. Well, don't worry, I won't spoil your breakfast. You already have. Let's just forget it, shall we? I can't. A split second later and anything could have happened. I know, but it didn't. Didn't even get a scratch. Well, I've done it snag my tights. Well, I'll buy you a new pair. Half a dozen pairs. Go on, what's the highest you say? <laughs> Listen, no, you're going to have to cope on your own this morning. All right. And don't worry, I'll come over in a little while, see how you're doing. Why? Don't you trust me? I'm just giving you the keys, haven't I? Your name's Mel? Yeah, for Melanie. I'm Steve. Oh. See you around, Steve. I'll see you. Oh. What are you going to do today? Going to the magistrates, find out about the court case. Oh, of course, I forgot. Then what? Wait for tomorrow. What else is there to do? I don't suppose you feel like working. I, I thought it might help for tomorrow. How do you mean? Well, you haven't been out all weekend. It's going to be hard facing everyone. Well, you think I should get some practice in? Well, you can't go on hiding forever, Grant. Hiding from what? I, I didn't mean hiding. I know exactly I'm... what you meant. Well, they can think what they like. You all can. I'll give anything to have her back. Anything. We all need someone to blame. I can understand that. But the way Grant's feeling means that for Frank's blood. Do you realise that? So what are you frightened of? There's going to be a punch-up in church. It wouldn't go down too well with the bishop. I'm not here because I'm after a quiet time. I'm worried about your brother's state of mind. He might lose it completely tomorrow. Yeah, well, there's one way to make sure that don't happen. Frank, don't go out of him. Well, I'm not about to send him a stay away. All right. So that's what you're after, someone else to do your dirty work? No, that isn't the answer. Then why come to me with all this? And ain't it Grant you should be talking to? He's made it pretty clear where he stands. With me and the church. Alex! Anyway, it's not just Grant I'm worried about. The church is going to be packed tomorrow. We're all going to be there for one reason. To mourn Tiffany. I just hope we can do it in peace. Lisa, have you seen Simon? Yeah, he's in the cab. Couldn't find something up this morning. Mind you, I can't say I blame him. Oh, be here, Chris. All right, Frank. How are you, darling? Yeah, I'm all right. How's that grandson of mine? Oh, he's lovely. Good, good. Look, I was wondering, could I pop around and see him later? Yeah, all right. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you. You must be very No, tired. it's all right, Frank. Look, you can come round whenever you want. Thank you. Look, there's going to be the hearse, right? Who knows how many cars? I need the whole area around the bit clear. OK, so I moved the stool. All you had to do was ask. 
So I would. Frank? Are you okay? I'll hurry up. I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. You must be dreading it. What, the funeral? I was thinking more of the inquest. It's gonna be a nightmare. I'm the key witness. Well, at least you weren't directly involved. All you've got to do is say what you saw. Well, Susan will help you through, won't she? That's if she's back in time. She's pushed off on some course. Yeah, well, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I just wish she'd involve me in the decision. It's like a real smack in the teeth, you know what I mean? It's like nothing that's happening to her has got anything to do with me. You're right, mate. Of course I am. Just a bit cold, that's all. You haven't seen Root this morning, have you? No, why? No reason. Take away coffees, please. Yeah. So, how many are closing up tomorrow? I don't know, just everyone that's going to the funeral, I suppose. Well, can you get around and ask? Okay. And tell them to leave the market tidy. The cortege is going right through the middle of it tomorrow. And if I see any piles of rubbish lying around, it'd be trouble. I'll just keep staring at bits of paper, writing things down, crossing it out, and starting again. Well, it ain't got to be any special speech, it's just you talking. I remember it. Yeah, well, that's the trouble. My mind's gone blank. I can't even see her in my head anymore. What do you mean? Every time I try and remember her, I just see Grant's face grinning back at me, knowing he's got away with it. You know Grant's making a speech as well. He ain't gonna stand up in that church after everything he's done. <sighs> I don't know how he's got the nerve. Yeah, well, he thinks he can do anything. Yeah, well, he can't. And he'll find that out soon enough. Just wait till he gets to call. Why don't you come round mine? Maybe I can try and give you a hand. No, I think I'll stay here for a bit. Then I might go round Mum's and talk it through with her. Alright. I'll see you later. Bye. Let's see if that'll shift them. Yeah, it'd be handy if we got a few partners in, wouldn't it? Yeah, but well, it's always quiet this time of year. They'll be back. Oh, well, I'm around, they won't. Come on, that's got nothing to do with it. Behave yourself, Roy, and spread all over the Gazette. No wonder people are staying away in yeah, that rag, it's got a lot to answer It's only for. printed what everybody else is thinking. Frank, now you listen to me. Look, I know what you're going through. Now, well, maybe I don't, but I know from Pat what she felt after she'd run down that girl, but... I mean, she's learned to live with it. Yeah, I know, yeah. Time's a great healer, isn't it? I know it's a cliche, but it is. Doesn't help you right now, but you will get over this. Yeah, yeah I know. Well, Pat paid for what she did. She did time, didn't she? Yeah, because she was responsible. I mean, she'd been drinking. It's different for you. It was an accident. What difference does it make? Tiffany's dead. I didn't set out to run her down, and one thing's for sure, it wasn't her fault. You don't have to do this. You've got your own business to run. No, I can wait. Oh, I don't think I'll bother opening up at all. What? We've hardly had anybody in this last week. Well, that don't mean anything. People are just feeling awkward, aren't they? They don't know what to say. What's the matter? Oh, oh, nothing. Mum, I've sunk enough oil juice that side of the bar. I ain't gonna start boozing just because I'm this side of the bar for once. How's Grant, anyway? He's so calm. I've tried to talk to him about tomorrow, but he doesn't want to know. Well, that ain't surprising, is it? I do understand. When your father died, the last thing I wanted was to organise the funeral. But you have to do it. It gets you through. No, he's done great. This horrible job as well, isn't it? I just, I just hope that, that nothing upsets Grant tomorrow. Like what, for example? Well, I just hope Frank's got the sense. Well, let's just say it would be better if he stayed away. What? Well, it's going to be hard enough for Grant getting through this at all. You think I don't know that? I've been bending over backwards to make things easier for him. I know. Have you any idea what it's like for Frank? Or what it's like for me? I'm sorry. I mean, what do you suggest I do? Ring him up? Send him around a note saying, well, hope you're OK, but do us a favour and don't come to the funeral? Mum, I said I'm sorry. 
And Frank must be going through hell, I realise that, but well, it ain't his state of mind that's bothering me right now. Oh, I know, love. How'd it go? The prosecution have asked for an adjournment on uh, compassionate grounds. Well, that's good, isn't it? On account of the accused's wife being dead. OK. <clears throat> Maybe you're right. Maybe it wasn't an accident. But I, I don't mean it was deliberate, but well, something like this was bound to happen one day. What would you mean? But the way these two were living their lives, I went mean, on a crash course for disaster. And I just happened to got in the way, is that what you exactly. said? Exactly. I mean, this could have happened any time. It could have been anything. I mean, it nearly happened six weeks ago. And that time, you saved Tiffany's life. Boy, look, I, I really appreciate what you're saying, but, see, I killed her. And it doesn't matter what you say, I can't get over that. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it a bad time? No problem, come in. I've been meaning to see you, Frank. I'm, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, young man. I'm not exactly the top of anybody's visiting list right now. Go on. And stop worrying, will you? I couldn't be in better hands. Um, it's just that I've been really busy lately, seeing Grant and the family, mm -hmm. arranging a funeral. Well, don't worry about it. I'm not holding it against you. Look, I know it's going to be really difficult for you tomorrow, but... Um, but I know you can get through it. I know you can. You will be coming and take it. I don't know, to be quite honest. I want to, but I don't want to upset everyone, you know? But I wish there was something I could do. Something positive, you know? Well, maybe there is. Off the couch, huh? There's Mark. Mark Fowler. Listen, I'm just ringing up to say that I can't make that appointment this afternoon. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry it's such short notice. Pardon? Oh, no, I'm, I'm feeling great, no problems at all. Sorry, what did you say? No. No, no side effects so far. Yeah, anyway, listen, I'd, I'd better get off. Yeah, I'll ring you straight away if anything changes. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers. You don't change, do you? What? Where are you off to? A party? Excuse me, I've got work to do. Work? It's our daughter's funeral tomorrow. You go to work? Well, it's better than slobbing around like you, wallowing in self-pity. Sorry, I'm not over her death yet. It's only been a week. And you think I am? Look at yourself. You're so together. It's frightening. It's no good, just take all that stuff back inside. But you always put the sour stuff outside. <laughs> Not when I'm on my own. I mean, round here, you turn your back on that stuff for two minutes after you get nicked. What's the problem? Oh, I'm glad to see you. Somebody tells me you need a hand. <laughs> You're not kidding, though. You're supposed to be taking some time off. I stay in that flat anymore, staring at the walls, I'll go out of my mind. How's your word in? What? Manager's in. Thank you so much. Sorry. I'm sorry, Alex. We're, we're closing up for the rest of the day. I've got too much to do with last-minute arrangements. Oh, look, can you spare a couple of minutes? I've got something to see you. Oh, hello, Frank. Hello, hello, Peggy. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, look, I, I won't be stopping long. It's just you that... can stop as long as you like. I'm, I'm, I'm not actually sure this is such a good idea, Alex. Oh, Frank, go on. Well, uh, you know, I didn't think I could let tomorrow go by without, you know, making some form of gesture. What's he doing here? So, what I'd like to do, if it's all right with everybody, I'd like to pay for the flowers in church. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. It, it, it's not much, but... You think a few flowers are going to make up for what you've done? No, of course I don't, Grant. Get out of here. Oh, please, Grant. All right, all right. That's enough. I don't want you in here anymore. Frank! There's no point me ringing Terry. You won't answer the phone. I've got to stay here and mind the shop. I'm so worried about him, Simon. Please. All right, I'll go and see him. Oh, thanks, darling. I'm really grateful. Yeah, but not for long, though. That doesn't matter. As long as he's not on his own all day. Or give him these. He'll be tearing his hair out. And if you see anyone from the bookies, remember, I've got the flu, all right? Ruth. What is it? There's something I want to talk to you about. Well, I, I can stop. Mark, I've got things to do. All right. 
sorry. Doesn't matter. Still keep. Hey, where's the gloves I got you? Well, it's sort of difficult with the change and stuff. In here. All right. Don't go all mumsy on me. Sit yourself. Good idea at the time. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm sorry, I should have listened to you. Yeah, well, if you want to know the truth, uh, I made a pretty good hash of it myself. I'll see ya. Oh, Phil. Did you see Frank's face? What am I doing to him? Uh, you, you said I could put Randy Sealy up. Is there a bedtime? No, it's all right. I, you know, I can always pop back later. You all right? I'm fine. Come in. Don't waste much time, do you? They're okay. Yeah, they're great. Right size as well. All tight, fits everyone. Any hip, any leg, any shape. I like to keep all my options covered. I'm sure you do. I've got work to do. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you... Louise. You all right? Do you know what, Lord man? Sometimes your brain there can be a bit of a silly old sausage. But he's very lucky, and I'll tell you why. Because he's got your mum and he's got your dad to look out for him, you see. Yes, he has. I've done a lot of silly things in my time, Bianca. And happily, Ricky wasn't one of them. You know, when your kids get older, normally they, they, they can't, uh, can't wait to get away from you. But with Ricky, uh, well, let's just say he's... He's seen me through a lot of bad times. Yeah, well, that's what he's like. And he's going to be exactly the same with this little fella here, isn't he? Because your mum's just the same. Darling, I, I can't tell you how much it means to me to, to be able to come round here. You know, I know I know how difficult it must be for you. <coughs> Tiffany was your best friend. And I, I don't want to get into this. No, of course you don't, darling. It's too it's early. It's not that. Just... <laughs> don't you realise? Every time I look at you, I just see Tiffany lying there by that car, and I can't bear it. Oh, I know it's not your fault, Frank, but I can't handle this. If you need someone to talk to, go and talk to Peggy or someone else, but not me. All I know is Tiffany is my best mate. And I loved her. <laughs> now she's gone. <laughs> you and me here, it's, it's all wrong. We're allowed to talk to each other. You know, I almost envy you going to court. What? At least it's a way of, I don't know, paying for it all. I'm not the one that killed her. No, aren't you? Why don't you face it? You're as guilty as hell. We both are. Let's be honest, Grant. Without Tiffany, there's no reason why we should be in the same room. Maybe you're right. You know your mum's asked me to go to the funeral in the lead car with your family. I couldn't think of a reason to say no. Is this all you've got? The sum total of our childhood in one manky old shoebox? It's pathetic, isn't it? Didn't you keep anything? You know, letters, school reports? No, no, don't have to tell me. I was a rubbish father from beginning to end. Oh, look, I'm sorry I didn't mean to give you a hard time. Well, you go on. I deserve it. Oh, leave it out, will you? I don't want to know about your failures. I want to remember the good times. You're yeah, right. What about the holidays? Peacehaven, you remember that place near Peacehaven? Oh, yeah, I do. Well, have you got those photos? No, but your mother might.
time most of the time. It's weird. It's like she hasn't noticed anything's wrong. Are you going to take her to the church? Yeah. Well, she'll probably have a great time, won't she? Getting dressed up, meeting all those people. I just hope that she doesn't. What? Yesterday morning she called out for her mum. She does that tomorrow. Look, uh, thanks for the coffee anyway. Grant, you don't have to do it all on your own. Peggy's there for Courtney. I'm sorry, Roy. He um, left a couple of hours ago. You didn't tell me with that camera. Uh, did he say where he was going? No. Yeah, well, maybe I'm being a bit silly about this, but um, he seemed a bit fragile this morning. Did you seem upset or anything when he left? Well, what was it? I told him I couldn't stand seeing him. Well, what would you say that for? Because it's true. Yeah, well, OK, OK. Look, um, he probably hasn't gone very far. I'll, um, I'll get out there, see if I can find him. Oh, I'll, I'll come with you, Roy. No, no, I want to do this. Um, you stay here in case he comes back. You know what Dad's like? The state is and he can crack any minute. And the last time he did that, he disappeared for two years. Sorry. It's all my fault. Have you had a visitor? Oh, no. I just haven't got round to clearing up. Do you know what she always used to say to me? When things got really bad. We'll be okay, Si. We'll be okay. Only it wasn't, was it? How much longer is this going to go on for? Mum, it's hard enough for me to get through this on my own without you expecting me to take Frank on board as well. I don't expect anything of you, Grant. Well, so you've joined him as well now, have you? Even my mother's not talking to me. Now, you listen to me. I've stood by you through everything. I've always defended you. And you know why? Because I thought somewhere, underneath the bully you are, there was a bit of love. Maybe I should accept I was wrong. Or maybe I should stay home tomorrow, eh? What? Well, I'd be doing everyone a favour, wouldn't I? You can all go to the funeral and have a great time. Frank can have a front seat. So, where were you going? I don't know. Anywhere, nowhere. It doesn't matter, does it? You remember what you said to me that night in the car park? About choices? You can duck them and run, or you can front it out and make things change. Yeah, yeah, well, some people don't have any choices, do they? You know, I mean, it's over for Tiffany, it's finished. And what about that little girl of hers? And even Grant, you know, I'm... I've destroyed them, haven't I? And you're paying for it. Not enough. What, you want more pain? More suffering? I mean, will that satisfy you? That he can't take any more? Yeah, all right, all right. You go ahead, go on. You, you give in, you go under. And what happens then? More lives wrecked. Ricky, Bianca, the baby. What about Peggy? I mean, she's already taken as much as she can, but you could tip the balance. You could finish her off completely. Or do you just want out, Frank, like I did? Is it time to jump? Only I didn't jump, did I? You stopped me. But you hadn't I, I hadn't killed anybody, no. But you're facing exactly the same choice. You give in and go under, or you stay and face it. I'll tell you how to pay if that's what you want. You go to Tiffany's funeral tomorrow. I can't. 
car. That whatever anybody throws at you, you take it on board and you deal with it. Or you push off with your tail between your legs. Your choice, Frank. If you ever miss any of the storylines of EastEnders, you can pick them up from BBC Online at www.bbc.co.uk forward slash EastEnders. Or something to keep out the winter cold, a spicy Thai chicken curry. Food and drink is on BBC Two in a couple of minutes. Here on BBC One, a hit comedy returns for a new series, George Cole is Dad, next. <laughs>